back in the Connor Prairie vault today and today is a very exciting and special day for Connor Prairie because we have one of our pieces that's been in the collection for years coming back to us from the Indianapolis Museum of Art in Newfields. Uh, we're really excited to have this back. This is a Severin Rosen piece. Uh, he was one of the most prominent 19th century uh, painters in, um, in still life painting. And we have this piece because Eli Lilly donated it to us in 1964. Um, so just a, a beautiful work. Uh, the, the Indianapolis Museum of Art and Newfields have restored this piece for us. Uh, they have had it on loan for a little over 10 years. Rosen moved to the United States uh, in the late 1840s and he lived till about 1872. Uh, the circumstances surrounding him, his death are a little mysterious. Nobody knows exactly what happened to him. And it's interesting, uh, he did 300 to 400 paintings in his lifetime. Uh, only about two dozen of those are actually dated. We believe this one dates to somewhere around 1860. Rosen settled in New York uh, when he first arrived and shortly after uh, was relocated to Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Uh, one of the things that's interesting about that is he did not relocate with his family. He re relocated by himself. Jesse told you a little bit about the history of Rosen and the painting, and I just want to tell you a bit more about the actual conservation that was done by the IMA while it was on loan. Uh, so, as he said, it went on loan in about 2008. It was in their early American galleries for the last 10 years, so since 2010. Um, the conservation treatment was completed in about June of 2010. Prior to conservation, it was mostly aesthetic uh, damage with the painting, so just general wear and tear. The frame had some little nicks throughout. The um, painting itself had a layer of varnish that had turned yellow over time and was really distorting the color of the, the painting itself. The canvas had what we call planar distortion, so the actual canvas was wavy and was starting to pull away from the stretcher, which is the back support beam. So part of the loan condition was that the IMA would restore this for us for free, which was very generous. Um, and uh, most of the work centered around cleaning the main area of the canvas and removing that really old varnish. They reapplied a natural resin that enhanced the colors and um, provides a barrier layer. One interesting fact is that when they were removing the original varnish, they noted that the red areas of the painting uh, were super sensitive. So even now, it still has that old layer varnish on the red paint. One cool thing that the IMA did while this was in their care is an infrared reflectography test, which uh, reveals the underlayers of the painting and that showed them that there is actually a layer of graphite underneath from where Rosen had originally drawn um, the, the drawing for the painting. Another thing that they did was to repair a small tear with Japanese tissue, which is a really special kind of paper that they'll install on the back of the painting to stabilize the canvas. One big step that conservators always take when refinishing paintings is to do a little bit of in-painting. So any areas where paint has um, flaked off or broken off, they will actually go in and repaint it with some really great quality materials. One of the things that Rosen is known for are these uh, signature water droplets, which uh, we'll show you here. We've got multiple uh, locations where uh, he's used this technique and it really just brings dimension and life to this piece and really makes it more realistic. One thing to note is that Rosen's paintings are prominently featured in multiple art museums throughout the nation. Uh, this one was, as we said, at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Uh, his work can also be found at the Met in New York. We are really, really fortunate to have this piece and it's just a gem of our collection. This painting was on display in the Connor House previous to its restoration. And now this painting is going to stay in our vault so that we can protect it and keep it safe for generations to come.